giant metropolis of predominantly agricultural Argentina, is Buenos Aires, one of the largest cities of the Western Hemisphere. In this great center of commerce, industry, and finance, live approximately one-fifth of Argentina's people. Here centers the shipping of the wealthiest South American Republic. Like all great cities the world over, Buenos Aires has its morning rush hour. Emerging from his home, Roberto Campos, packing plant employee, leaves for work. Countless others likewise emerge from the varied dwellings of this great city. Varied, too, are the people and their means of transportation. For some, streetcars are most convenient. Others use the city's many bus lines. Approaching the subway, which he uses, Roberto Campos stops to buy his morning paper. And like so many of his fellow Argentinians, he turns to the sport page. And now, on to the subway. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, Jose. In another section of Buenos Aires, Senor Rodriguez, a grain broker, leaves his fashionable apartment for the drive to his office. His car, like most of Argentina's automobiles, is of foreign manufacture. Proceeding down one of the many wide thoroughfares of the city, Senor Rodriguez's car merges with the morning traffic. Toward the center of the downtown area, traffic increases and the pace is slower. But presently, the car arrives at Senor Rodriguez's office in the financial district. At the entrance, he greets an acquaintance who asks about the trend of the wheat market. Como está el trigo en plata? Quien sabe? Who knows, says Senor Rodriguez. Meanwhile, in a steady stream, employees flock to their jobs in the various enterprises of the city, into offices, into the banks of the financial section, into the department stores of the busy shopping district into government offices, such as the Treasury Department seen here. Among those streaming up the stairs of congested subway stations and out to the mammoth meatpacking plants is Roberto Campos, here arriving at his place of work. Presently, the plant is a hum of activity as a seemingly endless supply of meat passes through the various stages of its preparation for market. Here, Roberto Campos' job is marking carcasses of dressed beef. Cutting is another of the operations performed on the meat which keeps steadily moving in assembly line fashion. Washing is likewise handled as a specialized task. So too is the wiping of the dressed meat. Argentina has long practiced mass production methods in its packing industry. Application of a stamp signifies that the meat has passed the final rigid examination. Most of the meat is destined for export and must be frozen to preserve its freshness and quality. Freezing the enormous daily output requires a large-scale refrigeration plant. Thus, mechanical refrigeration, a product of technological advance, has been indispensable to Argentina's meat export industry, which today ranks first in the world. Like most of the working population of Buenos Aires, Senor Campos returns home for lunch. The manner of saying grace is in line with the practice of the religion dominant in all South American countries. Now mother serves the meal of boiled meat and vegetables. Meat bulks large in the Argentine diet. Mamita, ¿cuándo nos llevas al zoológico? El domingo, si se portan bien. A visit to the zoo is promised for Sunday, thus luncheon in the home of a packing plant employee. Meanwhile, Senor Rodriguez turns from grain market operations to dictate a letter regarding an automobile purchase, a purchase made possible by the wheat pictured on the office wall. He decidido, por lo tanto, en el modelo especial que discutimos ayer. I have therefore decided on the special model we discussed yesterday. Espero que pueda enviarse de los Estados Unidos inmediatamente. I trust shipment from the United States can be made immediately. When Senor Rodriguez's new car arrives, it will be unloaded at one of the busy wharves of the harbor of Buenos Aires, where automobiles are but one of many imports. 
Imports which consist, for the main part, of manufactured goods, textiles, machinery, rolling stock, electrical equipment, structural steel, and other similar products. For many of the products of heavy industry, Argentina lacks the materials and facilities required for domestic manufacture. In exchange for such imports, Argentina exports tremendous quantities of beef, together with a host of other foodstuffs and a variety of raw materials. Foodstuffs going out, manufactured goods coming in. But behind the Argentina of shipping, behind the Argentina of Senor Rodriguez, the grain broker, behind the Argentina of Senor Campos, the packing plant employee, behind the Argentina of the great metropolitan center, there is another Argentina, the Argentina of the Pampas, one of the world's richest farming and grazing areas. Here, batteries of horse-drawn plows turn up the fertile earth for the planting of grain. Here, too, the farming equipment of a machine age prepares the soil of a great agricultural nation. Here, during the growing season, millions of acres of wheat come to full grain maturity. Wheat that has made Argentina a breadbasket for the world. Here, rich harvests of alfalfa and other abundant feed crops fall before the sharp blades of the mowing machines that traverse the ripened fields. Here in the Pampas, too, are the great herds of Argentine cattle, cattle that graze in the broad expanses of the open plains. Here, thousands of acres of land may belong to a single estancia. At ranch headquarters, the gauchos receive instructions for the handling of the herds. The gauchos, or cowboys of Argentina, follow an old calling. Down through the years, they have ridden the pampas, tending the cattle on which the wealth of Argentina so largely depends. Skilled horsemen all, the gauchos have a colorful and important role in Argentina's basic industry, the raising of beef cattle for the markets of the world. In hilly parts of the pampas, sheep may predominate. Watched over by herdsmen who share the pampas heritage of the cowboys, Sheep find ample pasturage in the broad sweeps of open land. Numbering in the millions, Argentina's sheep help to feed and clothe the people of many nations. Out of the pampas, livestock driven to railway sidings, livestock destined chiefly for export, so great is domestic surplus. Out of the pampas, hogs, sheep, and grain. Out of the pampas, produce that is fed along the rails in a steady stream to the terminals of the city, sprawling terminals overhung with the smoke of ceaseless railway traffic. Without the pampas, few ships would line the harbor of Buenos Aires. Without the pampas, Roberto Campos' place of work would be idle. Without the pampas, Senor Rodriguez would be deprived of his grain market operations. Thus. It is on the pampas that the life of the city so largely depends. And it is a life which includes recreation. Today, at the zoological garden, with its varied attractions, the Campos family are having the outing which was promised to the children. Visits to the zoo, so popular with the people of Buenos Aires, include more than seeing the animals. For Teresa Campos, the visit offers an opportunity for a ride on the back of a llama. Thus, the Campos family in its Sunday outing enjoy a change from the weekday routine. At home in the evening, the family find further relaxation in pursuing their various interests as they listen to a local radio program. The younger members of the family are absorbed in reading and study. While father reads his paper, he enjoys sipping mate, a kind of South American tea. Home quiet and the attractions of downtown Buenos Aires offer varied programs for the evening to the people of Argentina's great metropolis, whose life essentially depends upon the herds of the pampas now silhouetted against the level horizon of the evening sky.